Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a problem from lead code. The problem name is remove duplicate letters. So let's go with the problem statement. The problem statement goes like this, that given the string S remove duplicate letters so that every letter appears only once in that particular string. And you must make sure that the result is the smallest in lexicographical order among all the possible results. Now make sure that you don't have to actually rearrange the characters. What I mean by this is you might also think of an approach that just find out the frequency of every letter. Just see that what characters appear once or like just take only one occurrence of every character and then print out in the most lexicographically smallest way. So the most uh, like brute for like the most intuitive way which comes to mind is just let's do a for loop, find out the occurrence of every character. And then in the end, just again iterate over that frequency map and just print out whatever character is appearing, appearing like appearing one or two times just print out in that manner. But that is not correct. Why? Because in that particular approach, you are actually reshuffling the order, but you cannot reshuffle the order. So I'll tell you with the example that is this example so that you will become more clear. That is CBA, CBA, and then uh, CD, CD, and then CBC. So CBC. Now what you can see here is the answer for this is as you can see AB, AC, then db now what you can see here is that you can remove like if you just find out the occurrence of every character you can just see that there is a there is b there is c then there is d and you just say that the most lexicographically smallest the string you can form with all of these characters a b c d but that's not the correct answer as you can see that's not the correct answer the answer is this okay so why is there because in that in one approach what you can see is that you can find out the frequency of every character and see that what character is occurring multiple times or like more than one time just store that frequency and just print out in that particular order so that in the most lexicographically smallest way but that's not the correct answer that the correct answer is this why because in this approach you are actually reordering the characters like a is put first and then b but this is not the correct answer because it can happen that as you can see we are just deleting out characters not rearranging or like reshuffling the characters what i mean by this is as you can see that i can delete out this c I can delete out this B, I can put A, then I can put C, then I put a D, then I will not put a C because I've used the C, I will put a B and then I will not put a C that is there. So this is A, C, D, B. That is the correct answer. I hope you get the point. So this is the correct answer. By deleting out the characters, you will get a particular string, not by rearranging the characters. I hope you get the point. You can pause on this video, try to think over how you can get the solution for this problem. But what you can directly observe by just drawing out this example only is that you have to delete out characters. You have to also see that you don't use a character multiple times if it is already used. So you have to somehow like make a visited vector or like a container that will store out whether a character is already used so that you will not use it later. So what you can see here is like, let's say that take the same example. Now what you can see here is let us move from left to right. Okay, you will see that the first character is C. Let us put as first character as C. Okay, now you will now see that the next character is B. Okay, so what we can observe here is that if I put a B here, okay, if I put a B here, whether it is good or not, can you say that it is good? No, why? Because B should like, what you can observe here is that B like the string can be like this also, BC. This is more lexicographically smallest, but can I form BC? Let's, let's you just assume that I have a string like this and I want to form a string BC, just assume that. I have formed a string BC. Can I form it? Yes, you can. You just delete out all the characters, this character, these two characters, this character, and you can form a string BC. But how can you tell me that? You can easily tell that by telling that whether there is one more like one more C that is later half because I just find out a B. If I just find out a B, I just have to check that whether there's a C also in the later half of this string. So I just have to store the last occurrence of every character because if, if I know the last occurrence of every character, what you can directly do is that if I want, if I somehow like got a C here and then I want to put a B, then instead of putting a B, I know that the last character is C. So instead of putting like B after C, what you can do is that you can delete out C 
by just checking that is if c later half like if the c is in the later half of, half of this string because if the c is in the later half of the string you will again encounter it while moving in a for loop from left to right in the string and if you again encounter it then you can put it on the right side because you will just pushing characters on the right side of the string which you are just forming so if you put a c then you're pushing b but instead of pushing b on the right side you can just see that whether pushing b or cb is the lexicographic smallest or what you can you could have done is just remove out c put a b and then move from left to right and whenever you see a next c you can push that i hope you get the point so that what you can do then let's say i push the remove out b and just put uh, like remove out c and just put b now you move to the next character that is a now again I, if i put a here i can check that whether there is one more b that is on the left like on the right side as you can see that there is also one more b on the right side you can just make a map that is last of every character so that you already know that whether uh, this is the last character and there is no more last character on the on the right side so you will not change it because you will not replace it because there is no more character but if there is one more character and placing that character like this character or previously to this b character will make it more lexicographically smallest why not just remove it and we will encounter it later half also if you are removing it it means that you are not taking that string so you have to again mark it as false in the visited vector or container such that initially you are taking it so you are marking it as visited but now you are untaking it so you have to again mark it as non visited so that you will again encounter it later half and then you will put a then you move to c so you have seen that okay what you can see that you will push a c here okay then you encounter d you can put you will put a d here why because d is greater than c so it means that putting d ahead of c is not any problem why because if i put d ahead of c then it will obviously be larger lexicographically than this actually string so i want the most smallest one so putting d like on the right side of this forming string is a better option because it will give a more smaller lexicographically string okay then i put a d then i then i have a c now as you can see c is already visited and if it is already visited i don't have to put it here and also as you can see that c if i put it here then it is no use because c is already used then i come to b then what you can see that b is not there and because b like now this b is the last occurrence because there is no more last occurrence even i want to put like b ahead like maybe i want to put on this position but why i cannot put because there is no occurrence of cd on the right side again if there is more occurrence of cd on the right side like this then why not just put like i i could have like removed out this d and c and then put her this b here but because there is no more occurrence on the right side then i should not be doing like this i hope you get the point so i will be pushing b here and this is the final string as you can see that that will form so that's the overall logic how you can do that now move down let us to the code part to even make it more clear what we have learned till now so what you can see here is that i have made a last vector that will store the last occurrence of every character this is the visited vector that will store the visited like whether i have used that particular character or not then this is the string that will be forming out then we are just finding out the last occurrence of every character and just how you can do that just iterate over the string whenever you find a character just update the last occurrence so that it will be constantly updating until we find out the last occurrence of that character so that will be updated out the indexes whether we have seen or not then we'll again move over the string actually from left to right if that particular character is already like already seen i have already used that already visited so we will continue we will not use that particular character so we are just moving on the string and if i take a character and it is already seen then i will not actually take that else what i'll do is before putting that character on the right side what i'll do is that i will check that whether my string that i am forming the answer that is forming is not empty and if the character i am pushing like on the pushing on the right side is smaller than the character on the back so i will check on the character on the back and the character i'm pushing if it is smaller then why not put like put it on the more left side so i will only put it on the left side if the last occurrence of the last character that i'm like removing out is already on the right side it it will occur more on the right side as you can see then what i'll do i'll make the last character pop back like i'll pop the last character out and make it occurrence fall so that i will not use it now because it will later be obviously be encountered so why not put it there and put this more lexicographically smallest character in the previous part of the string and then if this will happen then i will push my new character that i'm about to push in the answer string and mark it as true that i'm already used it and that will actually eventually form this whole part so this is actually like as you can see that removing out the characters and like pushing out the characters only nothing more complicated and then just printing out the answer in the end so that is the overall logic and code for this problem the code for this problem will be in the description of this video so don't worry thank you for watching this video till the end I hope you understand the code and the logic. I'll see you next one. Till I keep coding and bye.